so I'm going to be looking at the distinctive flavor regions of whiskey making in Scotland all the way to the light floral sweet whiskies from the lowland to the viscose, the big, the pungent peated whiskies of Isla. Ockentoshan is one of the unique whisky distilleries in all of the Scotland based in outskirts of Glasgow. The spirit they make is triple distilled which means it's gonna be light, fruity, floral sort of whiskey. You get a lot of vanilla character on the nose. Very soft on the nose, very pleasant. A lot of mandarins, toffee. honeysuckle sort of characters coming through a classic example of the lowland 12 years old oak and ocean one of the very supple whiskies moving on to the highlands i've got glen dronach 12 years old highland region is known for the heathery the buttery um, whiskies and this is again um, a classic example of highland Matured in a shady cask. A very nice sweet nose. A wonderful vanilla toffee caramel fudge notes coming across. Very, very smooth, um, goes on so nicely. It's rich, it's creamy, silky smooth. Has a, has a full mouthfeel, raisins, soft roots, spicy and with medium length. Again, a dry finish, a really nice whiskey from Highland. Moving on to the Speyside region, which is one of the heartland of whiskey making in Scotland. They have over 40 whiskey distilleries in Speyside region, and what I've chosen today is Abalour Abuna, which is a classic example of big, shady, cast matured whiskey. This is uh, made in different batches. What I have is 57th batch, which is bottled over 60% alcohol. 60.7% exactly. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water in there just to bring out all those um, sweet spice. Just so the whiskey gets a bit open up, you get more flavors out of it and goes soft on the palate. Now this whiskey is definitely not for the faint hearted because the alcohol content might take your head off. Campbelltown is one of the coastal areas in the west coast of Scotland where you get a lot of um, coastal effect of in the flavors. Um, with this particular one, Glen Scotia, I, I get a distinctive nuttiness on the nose, almost chocolate notes um, which is so different that I haven't had this nose in any of the other whiskies from Scotland. It gives us such a nice meaty dram. Such an unusual whiskey from an unusual place in Scotland but really nice 
and lovely. Moving on to the islands of Scotland. Um, now, uh, whiskies coming from different islands could also vary from one another. We got Isle of Mull, we got Isle of Skye, we got Arran, uh, we got. What I've chosen is today is from Orkney. This is Highland Park, 18 years old. Now, what I love about this whiskey almost starts with a hint of smoke, almost a floral smoke, which makes it so different from your. Isle of Skye or um, indeed from your Isla whiskies. Now I'm gonna finish the tour um, with this West Coast big Isla whiskey and what I've chosen is Kolila, 12 years old. Now this is um, based near Port Askeg um, which is one of the hidden whiskey distilleries in Isla region since 1846. Now most of the whiskies is used by um, or in different blends. Joni Walker is one of the biggest buyer of Kolila whiskies. Now in this whiskey, it's, it's a little bit different from other styles of Isla as well. Um, looking Lefroig, Art Bakes, Lagavulin. This almost reminds me of Lagavulin. Again has a fresh smoke. You're looking a fruity sort of smoke. Smooth bodied. This is one of those outdoors whiskies I would say. Like Lagavulin aside, it's a great indoor whiskey you would love to have in a cold night. And this is a great outdoor ala whiskey. Kolila, 12 years old. I hope you enjoyed.